All right, we're back in the capital. Not so far from the castle now. You remember the plan, right? Hmm. Even so, it's important. We'll go over it one more time. There's nothing we can do about the amulet right now. The king will have that too heavily guarded. But he doesn't know the grimoire is in my room. And without it, he can't summon demons. Without demons to control, the amulet is useless anyway. So, we have to get in, get the grimoire, and make our way out. That's the mission. We won't receive a reward for this. All that gold the king promised, and your parole. I'm sorry, we won't be getting any of that. After we're done here, we'll be fugitives in the kingdom of Olmuth. I was so glad to hear you say you're on board with this. I'm glad you have enough of a conscience to cast aside what you were promised to spare the world from the horror of demons. So, the first hurdle in our little heist will be to get into the castle. This is where your past crimes have come in handy again. You did great work with your forgery skills creating the fake, relevant text to turn in like we would on our original quest. No one should give us any trouble getting in thanks to that. Not immediately, anyway. Normally, I'd probably need to report to the king immediately, but if we time things right, we can meet Sir Bethlen on gate duty. If we can trick him properly, he'll take the text from us and show it to the king himself to try and sponge off our reward. That should leave the two of us able to move freely through the castle for a short period of time. We head directly to my room, as fast as we can without drawing attention to ourselves by running. We should be able to get in and out of my room with the grimoire before Bethlen gets to the king. There's some paperwork and waiting in line involved with that. It should slow him down. I don't think we'll have enough time to exit the way we came, though. Instead, we head to the room of the court artist, Ferdinand. Remember? You picked the lock there not long ago. There's a window in that room overlooking the city streets. We'll just need to leap to a tree outside and climb down. After that, we find somewhere to lie low. Maybe get some disguises. Try to find someone to smuggle us out of the city. Maybe we can talk a farmer into letting us hide in a shipment of straw or something. Once we're out of the capital, we plan our next move on how to get out of the country. Ideally discover us and meet up with Skylar. He has a far better chance of becoming a paladin than me. I tried and failed for years. Skylar, on the other hand, was acknowledged to have potential by the paladins of the Order. He just never saw the need to develop it due to being content managing documents. So I'm banking on Skylar to find a way to destroy the grimoire for good. Any questions? Unfortunately, yes. That's all we'll be doing for today. I would love to do more for the kingdom I've called home these past few years. It troubles me more than you might think that we have to walk away with so much evil still at hand. Your other betrayer is still in there in the capital pulling the strings. But without the sacred powers, we can't free the king from the spell that clouds his mind. All we can do for now is grab the low-hanging fruit and make it so that he can't summon demons. That will buy us time. And maybe someday... When we can bring sacred power to bear, we'll return to set things right in this kingdom. But that is a mission for another day. Do you understand, Winnie? Good. Now, all we have to do is wait for Bethlen's shift. So in the meantime, let's hide the horse somewhere and make our way there on foot. Are you ready for this, Winnie? 
it might well be the most significant heist of your entire life. <laughs> of course, nothing ever shakes your confidence, does it? If it's you that I'm working with, I know we're going to do great. I can't believe how perfectly this is playing out. Bethlin fell for our scheme, hook, line, and sinker. And Winnie's little trick to steal my coin pouch so I could chase them to my room was genius. It was so perfectly in character for us that no one even looked up. We made it to my room in record time without looking suspicious. I can't believe I'm already holding the grimoire. I can only hope that things continue to go so flawlessly. What? Why do I hear footsteps? Well, what do we have here? Ivory? What are you doing here? Your chambers are nowhere near this place. Well, you see, Vaster, we got a message from a carrier pigeon recently, which raised a few eyebrows about what you're keeping in here. Imagine my surprise when I find you in here when I came to check it out. Care to explain what you're doing here when I heard you've come back from an important mission? I would think the king would want to see you immediately. Ah, uh, well, I ran into Sir Bethlen at the gate. Uh, you know how it is with him. Decided to sponge off our work and report it to the king himself. Took the related item from me and everything. And so you came here to mope about it instead of trying to straighten out the story? Well, Winnie stole my coin pouch. Had to chase them all the way here, the scamp. I admit that it took me pretty far afield of my goal to restock my allergy medicine. That checks out. A few people did report seeing that. And that medicine can save your life. Ugh, we don't have time for this, whatever this is. But then I guess that means you're done here, right? I mean, you caught a little thief, didn't you? No other reason to be here? Yes, I can honestly say I've retrieved what I came here for. Really? Because I always heard that you never ever moved that book. Yet here you are carrying it. Same book mentioned in the message from the carrier pigeon, by the way. What exactly was this message, anyway? Dear Vaster, I'm embarrassed by how long it took me to put the pieces together after you told me the story, but I've come to realize your memorial for Justino kept you from realizing the truth all these years. You did not know what you carried away that day, Vaster. It's time for you to open the book, and you will see what I mean. Yours sincerely, Skylar. It was crucial information, I know, but damn it, Skylar, you should have been more careful. Someone else read your message. So what are you hiding there, Vaster? You got some kind of forbidden literature there? As a knight, it's my job to check out that kind of rumor. It's what I get paid to do. Can't talk my way through anymore. She's going to check the book. Is this it? Did we fail? Winnie, what are you- <laughs> Glad to see your companion has a sense of how things really work in the world, Vaster. But we don't even have any money. How did- <laughs> Unfortunately, no. We haven't struck it rich. This isn't real wealth. It's just some sort of decorative fool's gold. You're taking some anyway. Why? Because it's shiny and nice to look at and makes you feel rich. <sighs> All right, do whatever. I never expected such whimsy to come back and save our bacon. Winnie's ability to use whatever we have on hand just never ceases to amaze me. I like your new companion, Vaster. Really speaks my language. Such generosity buys you a lot of quiet new friends, you know? I'll see you around. All right, she's gone. We need to hurry, Winnie. We won't have a lot of time left before Bethlen's forgery is- Damn it, run! <laughs> <laughs>